Hi, my name is April Hennig and I'm here today with Sacred Drop. And uh, here we are going to do the third of our Sunday tastings and this is going to be the Marquez de Cáceres. Now this is only um, a 3 8 bottle size, just enough for probably one person or two people just sharing a glass of wine together. Um, I thought we'd try this Crianza 2007 Marquez de Cáceres. Now this was a winery that was actually founded in the 1960s in Rioja Alta in a city called Cenicero. Now in this place, actually, um, a, a Bordeaux, a French consultant um, named Emily uh, Peinard, I believe is how you say it, and also Enrique Forner um, decided in the 1960s to um, come together to create this project, which was the Marquez de Cáceres project. So. From this, what they've done is created a lot more new style Riojas. Now this is something that you've probably seen, this type of uh, label is probably one that you've seen quite a bit in the United States. Now this is a bottle of wine, the bigger style, the 750 milliliter style, that you can buy in the States for about 10 to $15. Um, so I wanted to do is try this wine since it's one of these wines that's uh, very common here in Spain as well as in the United States. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and open this up and give it a try. Now, Marquez de Cáceres has been around for quite a while and um, it's very, very well known. This wine in particular is Crianza and with most Spanish wineries, Crianza tends to be one of the easiest and most selling wines throughout um, Spain as well as in terms of export. And that's because it doesn't have too much oak in it. Now this actually has, um, that is, as it is a crianza, um, 6 to 12 months in barrel. And in this case it has, uh, it's been aged in French and American oak. So it's going to have some of the spicy tones, well it should, as well as some of the vanilla tones um, that are very common from the French and oak barrels. So, oh. just grab some things. So let's give this a try. Now, this is a 2007 and actually at this point period of time, a number of 2008s are starting to come out in the market. So as I scroll this, I might shake the camera a little bit. <laughs> it's got um, a nice dark purple tone, but you can tell that it's starting to change to a little bit more of the yellow tones, which is very common as the wine ages. Um, so let's try this. In terms of smell, I get berries and um, a lot of vanilla, actually. So um, I'm guessing that the oak that they used, even though it was a French and American oak, it was probably primarily American oak, which is very normal for um, wines from this area. Some blueberries, uh, a little bit of chocolate, but more than anything, vanilla. Now it's not overly oaky though, even though the vanilla comes forward. Mm. You can you can taste the oak though in in the mouth. Um, it definitely leaves like that tanniny structure that. Well, definitely, you can notice it, like like a tea bag, um, when you leave a tea in too long, that feeling on the side of your cheeks are the tannins, and you can feel that on the sides of your cheeks, so it's definitely got the structure um, that's required for a crianza. It is a good crianza. Um, I'd probably rate it maybe an 8.9 um, out of 10. It's good. It's easy to drink. I would say in terms of value to money, it's a good deal. This is a type of crianza that you would be able to drink with a lot of things such as uh, rice dishes as well as some cured meats and ham. It would be good and easy to drink with also maybe even, um, I would say some grilled veggies. And uh, let's see what else we can tell you about it. It's uh, it has won a, f won a few awards uh, in terms of best value, and also um, 
Marquesa de Castres also has another wine that's called Gaudium. And the Gaudium um, is one of their top uh, wines, one of their premium wines. And in it, you feel uh, a lot more of a velvety taste in the mouth. I had a chance to try it at the Tempranillos al Mundo, which is a, a big award ceremony that they tend to have here in Spain, um, where they get to try all the different types of Tempranillos. Now, this is a Tempranillo, Graciano, and Garnacha um, mix uh, of varieties um, within this wine. But the Gaudium itself, uh, I believe it's over 95% Tempranillo. So, um, thank you for joining us today for our Sunday tasting. I won't be back for a while, but um, when I come back in January, we'll do some more tastings as well as some additional videos. Thank you for joining us today at Sacred Drop Channel. And if you would like to join us or send me any emails, please send me an email at sacreddropseeker at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.